Hey everybody, the kitty bag is back. Time for another review. I'm Deborah, also known as Doobage42, and welcome back to Tuesday Reviews, where I find stuff, I try it, and I'll let you know what I think of it. This little bag tends to hold my little makeup reviews, or at least what I'm going to review. No change today. The kitty bag of doom. Only today, no doom. If you're following me on social media, links below, you'll know that I ordered the uh, Androgyny palette from Jeffree Star. I also ordered a few other things because you can't just order one thing. I mean, that's like a rule of shopping or something, right? Anyway, I've heard a lot of horror stories lately about people ordering from different companies and things just being packed awfully, just like a piece of paper in there and no bubble wrap and nothing else. Let me tell you something. Jeffree Star Cosmetics, they are on point with their packing. First of all, it came in this awesome pink box with their little sticker logos all over it. I mean, yeah, way to go branding and the bright pink. That is so Jeffree Star, it's kind of me too. I love the color. Now, if I open this up and show you, all that's in here now is the packing and it barely fits in the box. That is squishy stuff. There is some just paper with the Jeffree Star logo on it. There is some pretty light paper with a sticker on it holding it closed when it was wrapped around something. Tons of bubble wrap. Yes, bubble wrap. Um, all the way down to the bottom of the box and you know, a little shipping label and everything in there. But it was packed phenomenally. There is no way anything could have hurt my purchase except maybe someone actually running it over with a truck. And even then, the bubble wrap may have held out. Depends on how heavy that truck was. Now, for what came out of my little bag. The most obvious thing, probably, because I'm wearing it today. Oh, my God. This is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. Let me get in there. Hopefully, you can see that. It is a glass tube comes in a sweet little box, which of course I only kept to show on the video. The box is probably going away. This is a lipstick, it's a liquid lipstick with a wand and a little bent uh, doe foot sort of applicator so that you can, you know, smear it on more to the shape of your lips. It doesn't take much. This has got to be the best formula of lipstick I've tried in my life. That's saying something because I put a lot of product on these big old lips. I got this one color. It's called Rich Gold. It's sort of a pinky red with little tiny bits of sort of gold shimmer in it. Not enough to be in your face glitter, but just that tiny bit of shimmer that's so pretty. I decided to pick one up when I got the Androgyny palette because I've always wanted to try his lipstick line. I know people that have had it before. They said, yes, it's really awesome. And they were not kidding. Wow. Most lipsticks, long wear or otherwise, just pretty much come off on me. At work, I talk all day, even more than in the videos, right? I'm on the phone, I'm talking to people, to technicians, and it's just constant talking, 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 the occasional bit of snacking, uh, drinking my water, and um, chewing my lips because that's a bad habit that I have. I touched up one time yesterday, once, and that was right after eating lunch. I had a big sandwich, which was like, I, I, you know, really gross eating, but it was a huge sandwich and I had to touch it up. It wasn't completely off. It had just worn in some places where the bread really smeared on my lips and stuff. That is amazing. I got home last night and I'm like, look at this. It's still here. I touched up once and he was like, really? Wow. Because my lipstick always wears off. I am more than pleased with this. I want every color in this formula, damn it. The budget says no right now, but I will be getting more of this. Jeffrey, home run right here. Hello. Something else that I ordered that was not a really a new item, but new to me. Um, if you ever watch Jeffrey Star's videos, which I'll link to his channel below because he's such a hoot, you see that he loves highlighter. 
And he tries out highlighters from all over the place. He has favorites of other brands. But you know what? He's got his own, too. Skin Frost. That's the color of this one. No, excuse me. Ice Cold is the color. Skin Frost is the line of highlighters. Bunch of different colors and shades you can get. You can kind of see I'm wearing it today. I don't go for as a super bright highlighter as he does. But this formula is awesome. Big palette here. You open it up. And you've got a real good sized mirror. Hello. And look at this. It's got the logo on there. Let me give it just a swatch across. Oh, yes, it's magnificent. You put it on there and boy, have you got serious glow right there. It's so pretty. It's so soft and just sort of buttery. And it goes on really nicely. You can use it wet or dry. I actually used it wet a little bit today, right up below my brown line to give it a little more intensity. You can see it's kind of shiny up there. Um, dry on my cheeks and, you know, the chin, the cupid's bow and all of that. I finally found a highlighter that I like. I have several that I was like, eh, it doesn't really work that well and blah, blah, blah. This stuff is so nice. <sighs> Jeffrey, I wish you sold your stuff in more retail outlets because I probably would have bought it sooner had I gotten to go to a store and swatch it and go, ooh, pretty. You know, you must go in my shopping cart now. I'm so glad that I bought this. And I took it to work yesterday just to show people. There are some makeup friends there. And they were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how nice that is. Yeah, Jeffrey, I think you'll be having some even more people, like you need more people, um, coming to your shop soon and buying stuff. The final thing that actually doesn't fit in the bag because it's just too darn big. Oh yes, the masterpiece. Ha! Ah, the Androgyny palette. Oh my God. Let me show you. The box is this pretty cool, sort of brownish, burgundy-ish color. But of course you expect the palette to be pink. It's Jeffree Star, right? It's sort of a fake leatherette kind of embossed deal. Feels very nice. It's slim, so it doesn't take up a lot of room, but boy, it's long. Hello, covers my whole head. Little magnet closure, just gentle closing so that it doesn't fly open if you turn it over. Huge mirror. And look at these pans. Yes, they're that big. You get a lot of product uh, for the money here. It's actually a good value besides the fact that they are heinously pigmented. Oh my God. I have got to show you a couple of these. The color that I actually bought this for because I saw him wearing it and trying it out and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. And you don't see colors like that in most eyeshadow palettes. Is this one called Fetish. It is a reddish, glowy sort of a color. Look at that. Browny, reddy, glowy. And let's find a spot on my hand. Oh. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? I was wearing it yesterday. Um, I'll wear it again in my Instagram, of course, because I'm adoring that color. And even second and third wipe with that finger still has a bunch of stuff on it. It is super pigmented and it blends nicely. Mm. But when you get it all over your hands, you're not just wiping this stuff off. You do have to go wash. Seriously, this stuff does not budge once it's on there. Uh, some of the color names that are so much fun. Like you heard about Fetish because I think that's my favorite color in the palette. Androgyny, the name of the palette. It's not really purple so much. Let me uh, get you some of that. See, it's kind of purplish, but not in your face purple. Put it next to the Androgyny and those two colors go so nicely together in a look on the eyes. Actually, you can use pretty much all these colors together in any way, shape or form you want. This one that's called Military you really can't see how pretty it is going from my phone over the internet back to your device. In person, it is so nice. It is a light green color. Um, again, buttery soft. Let's go to a different finger that it's not covered with colors yet. Look at that. Nice opaque color. It's sort of an olive greenish, which I guess is why they went with military on that. Very blendable, very nice. Not a terrible amount of fallout on most of these colors. Um, I did find some fallout and blowback on the poison. Now, not enough for me to get mad at it, 
but I went to use it and I put it on and it kind of went poof and I went, oh, <laughs> let's brush that off because all of a sudden I've got it all over here. Um, but you expect that out of a really pigmented shadow. Most of these are mattes. Well, actually, it's half and half, mattes and shimmers. And some of the shimmers are not super shimmery. Like this shimmery here, Deja Vu. I'm running out of clean fingers here. Barely touched it. Look at that sweet coppery color. Don't know where that name came from for Deja Vu. Let's uh, find another hand spot here. Oh, you can't go wrong with that. I can't wait to pair that up with some really warm colors and stuff. There's also Dominatrix, which is more of a brown charm, which is sort of a goldy, orangey color, kind of a glowy orangey there. Running out of spots. Look at that. Nice. I've been using Safe Word as sort of a base. Um, it's very neutral and it's a little bit darker on me than any highlighter would be because I'm very pale. But Safe Word, you can barely see it on there because it is a very sort of, for me, a fleshy color. And I've been using that to just sort of put a base down on my lids. It warms it up a little bit, covers up any of those little um, blue lines and stuff you have from veins and things like that. The neat highlight shade in here, and it does look good enough to eat, it's called Frosting. Let's find clean finger. We'll just swatch over that. You just want to keep rubbing it because it's so soft. Look at that. Hello, Frosting. It really is just a nice, warm, highlighty color. <sighs> yes. I broke down and bought it. I was talking about wanting it and it was more expensive than I would normally pay for highlighter, for a eyeshadow or for anything like that. It's like $45 on Jeffree Star's site. But for me, it's worth it. Um, after trying it out myself and seeing how good the quality really is, how gorgeous the colors are, and I have to play with it and I can't even stop looking at it because it's just so pretty. I brought it to work yesterday, you know, with the highlighter and with my lipstick and, you know, can I swatch it? Yes. And I would just open it up and just, yes, touch it, please. It's so nice. So girls who don't even normally go for, you know, Jeffree Star type stuff, they're like, wow, I really like that palette. That is so nice. You can get a lot of different looks at it. You can go bold. You can go more subdued. Uh, yesterday I blended in the uh, fetish and androgyny and then highlighted with some of those and it was just this nice blend fade of these darker reddish purplish colors. I was kind of obsessed with it yesterday. Today I tried something new. I don't normally wear green eyeshadow. I have green eyes and it kind of competes when you're doing green eyeshadow, green eyes. It's like, okay, what's green? But I decided to try this color out, this sort of olivey, light olivey green color. Um, along with, which ones did I use? Um, swallow <laughs> around the outside edge here. Let's take off the glasses. You might be able to see something there. Of course, now I can't see anything. Awesome. Um, swallow around the outside part here. I did poison all around the crease. Uh, military, that greenish color right there on the lid. And everything is so pigmented and opaque, you can take the lighter colors and go over the darker ones. It works. Uh, like I said, I did do the whole base of the lid with Safe Word first to kind of give me a nice base to start off with. Use a little bit of this Deja Vu coppery color right above the crease line there. And then I went with um, frosting right around the top. And then I did take the uh, highlighter and put it right up under my brow line. You can use that highlighter wet too. So I wet a little brush and went up under there because I wanted some glow up there, okay? As you can see, even on this big old girl, emphasis on the big and the old, this is still a lot of fun. Doesn't matter your age. Doesn't matter what you think you look like. If you have a passion for something, go for it, play with it. I love makeup. I've always loved makeup. I've been wearing makeup on and off since I was about 10. My mom let me have like a little eyeshadow palette and long as I didn't wear too dark of colors out of the house, she was cool with it. And I learned how to put it on where I didn't look like, you know, a child had just smeared makeup all over my face. 
I love playing with the eyeshadow and stuff. So yeah, I'm getting back into it after being out of it for a few years. And wow, what have I missed? I'm really enjoying this. Also, this lipstick, perfection. Oh, I should give you a close up again. Did you get that glow? And those lips. Mm. I've had some tell me, oh, it's so dark. Yeah, it is. At least I'm not wearing black lipstick like I did when I was a teenager. What do you think of that? Anyway, glasses have to go back on because I can't see what I'm doing. So thank you so much for visiting me for another Tuesday review. If you like the makeup, let me know. Um, give it a try if you can. You see all my swatches flying around there. Uh, <laughs> I've really enjoyed playing with this one and I cannot wait to try some more stuff with it. Come on, days off. Where are you? Um, stop by. I do reviews every Tuesday. I have good stuff on Mondays and I rant a little on Thursdays. You should check that out too. Click over here for another one of my videos. Please like and subscribe. Click it. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.